Good afternoon. Welcome to 30 Frames a Second. I'm your host, Greg Lasseter. We have a great show for you today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Greetings, sisters and brothers. Greetings. Uh, first, I want to echo what uh, Sister Camille Yarbrough said, that she is proud to be African-American, proud to be black. And I think that is a statement that is underappreciated because enslaved Africans in America built the world. And people need to know that. So I'm glad you remind people. And it would be much, much better if more African American, every African American realized that and pre preach it to the world. On a warm day, wear a t-shirt saying, I built the world. Without, without Marshall Plan money, where would Europe be today? But w how was the United States able to give Marshall Plan money to Europe? Because the United States was able to become industrialized, powerful, because enslaved Africans built the United States. And that's what I mean when I say built the world. Allowed the US to then allow Europe to recover from the white genocidal maniac, Adolf Hitler. And let's say it, because often when the narrative is disseminated, it's the so-called black dictator. And yes, there are terrible black dictators who've committed massacres. None have come close to Adolf Hitler. And Hitler was white. So let's remind people about that. We are talking about Trump and deconstructing the administrative state. And I agree with uh, Sister Kanene that we should not confine ourselves to that small corner. What is Trump in the whole history of humanity? Not even a pimple, correct? A useless piece of individual who will come and will go. Who knows? Will he finish his term? Who knows? Will he be dragged out in a straight jacket because his lunacy just overwhelms him? Who knows? We don't know. But at some point, he will be gone. But the administrative state will still be there. And that's what we need to confront. When we talk about racism, racism is not an anomaly, right? It's nothing peculiar. It's part of the system. So as far as the establishment is concerned, there's nothing wrong with racism. Think about it. Capital is benefiting, right? Corporations are benefiting, right? So you may hear some people voice outrage about Trump. But as the sister pointed out, <laughs> they are making money, generating tremendous profits, right? Because as Walter Rodney, the brilliant yes. brother from Guyana, reminded us, racism may have been practiced even be further be, uh, earlier than the 17th century. But it was during the plantation regime of enslaved Africans that it took a peculiar form. It became an acknowledged part and parcel of the production system, right? The production relationships. So you had to demonize African people, whether they were producing in Haiti, whether producing in the plantations here in the South, whether in Guyana, his native country, where at some point when slavery was officially abolished, then what did the Europeans do? They brought Indians from the subcontinent so they could fight amongst themselves. And the Indians came. They didn't know the history of Africans in Guyana, but they quickly adopted the racist stereotypes that had already been built up by the Europeans. So they started calling, as Walter reminded us, Kwashi, right? <laughs> and in return, the Africans started calling them Swami, right? And there are many brilliant lectures by Walter Rodney that are on YouTube, and I strongly recommend anybody just go to YouTube, 
put Walter Rodney, racism, capitalism, and all these brilliant lectures will come forth. So I bring this off to say that if racism and part and parcel of the production process, why should we be surprised by Donald Trump? It's no surprise. Donald Trump just happens to be the grand wizard who says things they say in private all the time. Donald Trump happens to be the grand wizard that took off the white bed sheets. But let's be honest with ourselves. How significantly different has the United States been under democratic administrations compared to Trump? Let's be honest. When, at what period was it that mass incarceration continued to accelerate? Was it not during Bill Clinton, right? Bill Clinton, the same Bill Clinton, much beloved in many of our black communities. <laughs> during, during whose administration was Africa invaded by NATO? And the worst sort of destruction committed, the destruction of Libya. Yes, let's be honest with ourselves. And Libya will not recover from that destruction in our lifetime. And that destruction has spread throughout North Africa, Central Africa, Western Africa. That happened during a democratic administration. And then let's look at some fundamental realities in this country. The discretionary budget, right? That is controlled by legislation, by, by bills, right? 48% of that goes to the military. So who can dare argue that we do not live in a military state in the United States with a civilian front, right? Because if you're spending 48% of the discretionary budget on the military, what money do you have left for anything else? And you do have nothing left because uh, unemployment, uh, social services, all of this gets what? 8%. Healthcare, 5%. So where, to you, what is a much more extreme danger? The military industrial complex or Donald Trump? Donald Trump, I submit, is less than a pimple. Yes, he's aggravating. Yes, he's a complete racist. Yes, he is a grand wizard. But by over-focusing on Donald Trump, the individual, we're missing the struggle, the big struggle, what we should really be confronting, as the sister pointed out correctly. As I was listening to her, I said, you know what, she's just laying the platform for me to build on because I prepared to come here today and speak on that. Let's not get deceived and get caught in that corner and then fail to engage in the real struggle that we need to be engaged in, which is the fact that Eisenhower warned with his farewell speech that this country is going to be hijacked by the military industrial complex. So combine that with the inherent racism that is in the substructure. So we know the environment that we are existing in today. Let me make two further points in terms of the media. And Donald Trump raving, attacking the media all the time, and we know that is all wrong. It's absolutely wrong. But just because he's attacking them for the wrong reason does not mean that corporate media are our friends. They're not. We know that. We know that for a fact. Look at the Libyan war, mm -hmm. where the New York Times was actually publishing editorials calling on NATO to increase the bombing of Libya so that Gaddafi would be defeated relatively quickly. The New York Times, the so-called liberal bastion, calling on NATO to escalate the bombing of an African country. New York Times, perhaps the only other European country that it might have written editorials to increase the bombing, perhaps Germany under the Hitler regime. I need to go back and look at that, because even then, I wonder, they would take into consideration the human beings that would also be killed. But there was no consideration when it came to Libya. So just because Donald Trump is criticizing corporate media 
for the wrong reasons, let's not automatically, by default, embrace them. Look at the coverage of the Me Too phenomenon. And we support that. But why can we not get similar coverage to police extrajudicial execution of black men and some women on a regular basis? Why can't we see that kind of coverage? Obviously, it does not affect them the same way they feel oh, the empathy on, towards bro. the Me Too movement. And as you I said, really we support that. But why are we selected? Why don't we engage similarly in covering mass incarceration in the same way that corporate media devoting resources to cover Me Too? Those are the questions, legitimate questions, that we need to ask now and beyond Donald Trump. Thank you, sisters and brothers. Back to 30 Frames. Um, today, I do have with me um, Nat Wood. He's running, as usual, <laughs> a little late. But today, we're going to talk about uh, Donald Trump and what he said last night or yesterday in Helsinki. But most importantly, we're going to talk about how his administration is cutting the 2019 HUD budget. And um, for those who have, whose rents are subsidized, who live in, um, uh, what do you call it, projects? Uh, what do you call that, project housing? NYCHA. NYCHA. Um, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, and we're going to give you some solutions uh, to help you out. Nat, welcome to your show. What's up, brother? <laughs> How you doing, brother? Ah, let me slide in here. I'm... It's good to be back. It's, it's, good, uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be black. It's good to be... Yes, it uh, is. <laughs> Alive and it's good to be here with you on 30 frames a second. I got to fix my underwear and it's <laughs> nice that, and tight. Everything that, is good. That gentleman, the author. Milton Alamati. Right. Uh, he's a publisher of, uh, uh, he was the uh, the founder and publisher of uh, uh, Black Star News, I believe. Right. He's also an author um, and uh, adjunct professor uh, at uh, John Jay where, uh, um, where that was shot. You know, I, I agree with him wholeheartedly on most of it. Um, me too. I don't Almost agree with him it. on Donald Trump's being a small pimple in the big scheme of things. He is and he isn't. Uh, right. He is, a, he is, a, he is a, a, a blip and a pimple. He will come. He will go. The nature of the problem has existed since uh, America uh, was first colonized. Um, the nature of the colonizer has not changed one iota. Uh, but Donald Trump is very, very problematic because Donald Trump represents the most violent and ignorant and aggressive aspects of white supremacy. Right. And that has always been uh, the most serious problem. Ergo, uh, uh, the book Without Sanctuary that has all of the lynchings right. that took place in the way they took place. And that's the kind of racism that Donald Trump represents, uh, uh, that, that, that um, belligerent, aggressive uh, racism. But here's the thing, too. As, as, see, back when in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s when the lynchings were having, we were kind of passe about it, passive about it. I don't feel that we're, you know, we're not going to let that happen like we did before. You see what I'm saying? You know, I don't think we were passive about it. I think I it happened think, more than it would happen currently. I think this is the this is the problem that Donald Trump represents because it did the, the reason it happened was not because of. Uh, white people, white civilians. Right. The reason it happened is because white people were sanctioned by the United States government 
to be able to do this. Those lynchings occurred. Those lynchings didn't occur in slavery. They they occurred in Jim Crow. Right, they Jim Crow right after slavery, um, and it was the United States government who who uh, who said that blacks have no rights that right. a white man is bound to respect. Right, uh, and they're uh, superior. Yeah. So right. the and Donald Trump in that way represents. The government and the government has become so uh, dependent upon the vote and the will of the backwards white racist uh, redneck regime, uh, regime right, right. that uh, that does pose a different kind of uh, uh, but threat. Last yesterday's conversation with um, Putin. Ah, Putin. Yeah, that should have put his. That should have signed it right there. In the in the, in, in the right world, that should be that should be done. All Congress needed and the House needed was three Republicans mm -hmm. to start the impeachment process. Mm -hmm. What I see is about twenty Republicans. Mm -hmm. So now what? Um, again, um, uh, there's one good thing that that Donald Trump has done is that. Um, he has exposed totally. uh, America uh, for what it really, really is. And a lot of people in America. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can understand um, politicians because politicians are pragmatic. Right. They want to get reelected. Right. Um, but there is a core group of poor, uh, backwards, uneducated white folks that uh, see racism and the pecking order of white supremacy right. as more important than anything else. What, what you mean is more important that they will perpetuate hate and racism and starve to death. And starve to death. And, and, and uh, they will tolerate a president who is little more than treasonous <laughs> right. Uh, right if that if that person Perpetuate. perpetuates their specific brand of white supremacy and but, but that uh, and mindset, redneck racism okay yes when is see here's the scary part about that is the young I, the die the, the old will die off it's the young what we worry about the young ignorant white supremacists that the guy who goes in and shoots up schools and churches black churches those are the people who have no education, who have, uh, who says black people takes his job, took his job, or Mexicans took his job, who he's not qualified to, 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 to work anyway. So those are the people that we need to stop. It's, it's very, it's, it's difficult to stop people because people aren't the ultimate problem. What you're, tr what you're facing, what you're actually fighting is a philosophy. And that philosophy goes from generation to generation to generation. Right. Um, uh, Dylan Roof, who shot up the church, right. um, the historic black church, who literally murdered women who uh, invited him, old women who invited right. him in to pray with them, right. spouted the same uh, philosophical viewpoints that you heard and saw in the original Birth of a Nation uh, 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 film about the birth of the KKK right. in America. Right. It was the exact same philosophy uh, that that the they, uh, that the blacks were going to come, uh, armed, fueled by the United States government, these Confederate, these Union soldiers, these black Union soldiers were right. going to come in the South, <laughs> right. rape the women, right. you right. know, right. steal and, their jobs, and, yes, uh, right. Right. Uh, steal, uh, uh, control them. But this is this this is the exact same thing that this guy was saying. But we still have to shut that down. I don't know how, but we still have to shut that down. Do you understand what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? We can't, we can't it. let that happen because we as black people, what is the first thing we do? What is the first thing that happened right. when, when, uh, when the, one of the survivors, uh, when, when they took Dylan Roof away, the, the black people said, oh, we're going to forgive him. 
That, that is true. That is true. But they are old people in the church. But they're not old. The, 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 the young people too. The it's the young people too. A, uh, they, uh, well, I don't think I don't think that he'd have got the same response in Chicago <laughs> or New York. Right, 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 right. This is a, this is an old, you know, good old religion type philosophy that frankly put a lot of people off. Uh, but um, but they were in throes uh, uh, in the middle of a tragedy, and you don't want to jump on people in the middle of a tragedy. Right, right, right. You know, but but, uh, but that you do. But though. it was crazy, but you, and but, a lot of people who are very, very, uh, a lot of black people who are career Christians who spend <laughs> all of their time in church uh, was a little put off by the fact that uh, almost as if it was scripted, which it seems to have been. Right. They one by one gave this speech in front right. of the damn camera. Right. Right. You right, know, right. I mean, somebody but, got them to do this. But but let me ask you, though, OK, I know you, you said you made a point there. We as black people, don't we need to you say don't do it in the midst of tragedy? Why you don't not? Want, you don't but want why to... not? Why not say, hey, listen, that we have to stop that somewhere. You see what I'm saying? We have we can't wait till because people are always going to grieve. When is there a good time to say? Okay. It's just hard to criticize people who are burying their own. Yeah, but 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 yeah. at the same time, it's not really criticizing. It's yeah. like you, you pull them aside and say, "Listen, what, 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 these four hundred years of praying, where is that? Where is that gotten us? Forgiveness, where is that gotten us?" I just I just get the feeling that they were coaxed into perform into this performance because. That's not the first thought that uh, people have in the midst of a tragedy. But the in the midst of a tragedy, the, the first thought is about loss. It's not, a, no, it's right. not even about revenge. Right. It's about what you have lost. Right. And that takes a long time before you come out of that right. and start dealing with, if ever. Right. But, but, but the, the, the raw emotion of what you have lost is, is so overwhelming that it takes a while before you can even think of things like revenge. Okay, but, but, but um, we as black people, um, you've seen it in every situation when a white person mass kills black people, the, in every situation it's the same. Oh, we, we, we're going to be bigger than that. We're going to but forgive I him. I don't think they came up with that on their own because it happened too quickly and they all did it in front of a camera. But, but Which this is, means but that, was, that, that was, somebody, the first one, that. probably their pastor or somebody in the church. It's still black. Um, still black. Well. It's still black. Every, every situation. I'm glad, you, I'm, glad you, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you said that because uh, blacks are no different than anyone else in terms of representing either their, um, uh, the, the thing that feeds them. Right. And black pastors and preachers are very, very, very pragmatic. Uh, uh, you've seen, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, politicians that you never hear from them, uh, election time, they right. all swoop to the right. black church right. like they, they right. hiding candy up but, under but, the pews. And, and black people um, fall for the okie doke every single time. Because they are hardwired to but, follow but, the direction of their pastor. But we have to and stop. And their pastor We've is hardwired to get that money. Okay, but at the same time, we're always quick to say 400 years of oppression, blah, 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 and that crap. Okay, when does it stop? When does it stop? It has to stop. You know, the, the preacher is going to say, oh, yeah, you know what, we should forgive. When, when the white boy killed up, killed, killed up, when the white guy killed all those people yeah. um, in the church in, um, uh, in the south somewhere, did mm -hmm. any of those white people say, oh, we forgive him? Uh, no, no. 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 They nobody said it. No. But we are the first to say, oh, we forgive this person. Well, first of all, it's mighty white of you to forgive him since you ain't the one dead. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so it's kind of big of you to forgive somebody when you but, are not really the one dead yeah, or bleeding. But, but you know um, what? But the, um, but the, but the, but the, um, but it was all theater. And, and uh, I'm a realist. Right. But, but you know I'm a realist. Right. Whatever, right. whatever is available uh, eventually 
it, it will infuriate me, but I'll accept it as it is and adjust my game plan around it. Right. Um, the black church, and even in New York, right. even in, in Washington, D.C., right now you got a whole lot of uh, jigaboos for Trump. Right, and, right, and, right, and, and, right. And I mean, you got, you got uh, uh, jigaboos in high places for Trump. <laughs> you got uh, uh, family feud jigaboos for Trump. You got <laughs> Don King jigaboos for Trump. But you got you all think, so, you got you got the rent is too damn high. I love Trump. Trump. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, that's right. I mean, so you you have a whole uh, but, but a this, whole but lot. This, of, I mean, he has uh, two black women like with green right, hair. Right, 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 I don't right. know who these people but, are. But not, but we even found these people. But let you me know, ask you this though. Now. I've lived among black people all my life. <laughs> I don't seen, even know where these people are located. Where, where do you find them? Where <laughs> right, do they come right. from? But um, what gets me about that, the black people, forget, Donald Trump has no politics, okay? He has no politics. He has stick. He has stick. He's, that's, a, he's, a, he's a brand. He's a brand. Well, he's a, he, that's, that, that's, Donald Trump is not a businessman. He's a brand. He's a business man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Jay-Z. I'm a business man. But, <laughs> no. but he uh, stands for one thing more than anything. Trump. Racism. Trump. And racism. Okay, he racist. loves the stage. He loves the applause. But and he's a racist because the racists, uh, the racists love him. But yes, he is a he is a I, um, he is a white supremacist, and white supremacy has a um, pecking order, and and black is the very far end of the pecking order, right behind poor. Right. So um, um, uh, right behind poor. That's scary. Well, That's yeah, scary. poor scary. whites is like at right, the right. end and, of and, it, and, but behind, and behind, and behind them is, them is black. Black people, right. You know, That's now scary, blacks though. get to go to certain dinner events if they have enough money, right. you know, but there's always, there's always the black thing um, in white supremacy. But, but, Ergo, but, but, the title white supremacy. But hold on, that if being a black person, racism, is that white, you white supremacy... You're black. Yeah, I'm bleak. Uh, I'm, bleak. Yeah. I'm very dark. I'm very dark. Uh, <laughs> but well. okay, but okay. being being a white supremacist and knowing knowing this person is a white supremacist, and white supremacist is not pro-black, why would you support them? White supremacy is sophisticated, first of all. White supremacy, white, again, um, I go back to Dylan Roof. Uh, Dylan Roof was a young, young yeah. Uh, uneducated, right. Um, um, he was spouting philosophies from events that he had no knowledge of. None. <laughs> I'll wager, I'll, I'll wager a dollar to, to, to them hamburgers they right. gave him after he <laughs> shot up all them people, uh, that he's never seen Birth of a Nation. Right. That um, that that he was spouting this this rhetoric almost word for word and had no experience with the people who came up with this right. stuff. Right. So it has to be a philosophy that's handed down from generation no to point. generation until you think you're actually coming up with something. Right. Right. You know, right. you think you're coming up with something you, you, original <laughs> and it's just something you you believe in your own hype. Correct. Correct. <laughs> you think you're the first bear that ever like <laughs> caught a salmon in the air, you know. It's like, oh, I invented something. Right, right. Yeah. I'm gonna perpetuate this, <laughs> right, right. right? I'm gonna show everybody that I came up with this first. Right. 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 And uh, the hype and the, and the masses believe it if you don't do your homework. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. You think you're the first bee right. to come up with honey. Right. right um right. and and it's just some it's 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 acquired behavior. It's not even learned. It's right. almost like uh second nature behavior. Right. right. Which is um, twisted. Um, which is um, which is way twisted. The the problem with with Donald Trump, um, and it it gets back to some of the things uh, we were talking about. If 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 you notice uh, uh, in the clip, Milton talked about a few things. He started um, off talking about uh, Black Pride and how Black people. Uh, literally built the world, that, right. their, that their labor, and the African Americans, right. Right. their labor uh, 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 created the, the conditions to allow the United States of America to become the ultimate super empire. Right. The greatest empire that has ever existed right. uh, in, the, in the history, history. Of, 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 the of, of the world. Right. Of the world. 
um, and uh, thus become the protectors of white supremacy all throughout the world because uh, the United States, the power that the United States had, uh, not only enriched the United States, but allowed them to uh, facilitate a complete recovery of Europe after right. World War II. That's right. Uh, uh, all of this is a direct result of, of the, the two factors that we're, that we're still dealing with, the world right. is still dealing with, uh, the, the attack and colonization of the indigenous people in countries all around the that's world, right. that's, especially that's, in, on, on this side of the world, but all throughout Africa. That's still uh, happening. That's still happening. And, uh, and uh, the, the forced uh, the oppression and, and, and free labor of Africans. Right, right. Um, um, which is still happening in Libya. Which is still happening. Libya. Which, which is, is still li happening. Which is happen which and is that's still funny happening. when you talk about, it's not funny, but it's, it's ironic that the only president in history that ever bonded an African country was an African. Was an African. Right. Was an African. Right. That, that, that right there says a lot. See, black people like Obama, Obama, Obama. Yeah, you know what? Obama didn't do it. Obama wasn't for black people. But this is why I, this is why I say that the problem is bigger than people. That the problem is of an ideology, and that ideology uh, seeps into all of us. Right. There's there's no way that any of us cannot be affected by right. Um, right. white supremacy. Right. Um, um, and and in our thinking and our behavior, uh, and most of us have a problem in that we acquiesce to this ideology. We do. Uh, on an unconscious level. You, you know, think it's unconscious? Is well, it, is it, well is it, for some people, it's right. just like uh, uh, spiteful, and some people, it's, it's conscious. Right. But all of us, in some way, acquiesce to it in ways that are almost subliminal. You know what? That's um, a good point. That is a good point. That's a great point. It's, right. it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's a very, ve it's been very, very effective in its application and the way it affects people. And, and you know what? It's, 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 it's almost like the way the white man has put it is almost like the, the, that syndrome. Correct. You know, that, you know, if, you, if I show you how to do this, it will perpetuate itself Correct. for the rest of his life and you will never have to do anything. The, the Willie biggest, Lynch syndrome. The Willie one Lynch syndrome. of the biggest uh, 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 issues that black women have is their hair. <laughs> and that's all like white folks Induced. Right, I right, mean, right, uh, right. beauty is a concept. It's right. not, That's right. you know, and your concept is of someone who, uh, your, 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 your concept of, 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 of power, yeah. your concept of your man, your family, your sons, your it's daughters, yourself, all comes from this ideology wow. right. that's, that's, an unconscious part of you. Right. I mean, right. you know. To be conscious is scary. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> scary. right. We're still arguing about the, the, the dark skin, and light, the light skin, skin. Right, all, right, of that, right. all of that, that crazy. The, None of that stuff is you. That, that, right, that, that we even bought it. It, correct. Was, a, it was a white correct. man who correct. put that into, correct. To, correct. into effect correct. for correct. us. Correct. But I want to get into the, the, uh, the budget for, oh, for, for, yeah. for HUD. Yeah. If you live in... NYCHA, or anywhere around the country, subsidized housing, um, whether you're poor, disabled, not working. Well, there's news for you. He's cut the budget by Congress 13, passed, 13, Congress 13 passed billion? $10 million, right. and, and so Donald Trump something. added another right, $2 million right, to it. Right, right, $13 billion. $13 billion, dollars. yeah, billion. sorry, $13 billion. That affects you, because mm -hmm. most of you guys in Section 8, right. block grants, right. gone. right. It, and and eighty percent of the budget is uh, made up by low income. That is correct. Most most of the cuts are from uh, uh, people who have uh, rent subsidies and and, right. and and things of that nature. Um, so, uh, the good thing is that that they're going to put money into NYCHA to uh, address the lead the lead poisoning thing. The bad thing is that it comes just in time. Uh, it comes right before your eviction notice. <laughs> right. But see, but people uh, think they're doing it for them. They're not doing it for them. They're not renovating NYCHA housing for you. That is correct. They you haven't know. done anything for you. Yeah. And, and it also comes at a time where they're um, uh, 
under under the radar, almost in the dead of the night. A yep. lot of people don't realize that all the subsidies for health care that was under the Affordable Hair, uh, Care Act are gone. all gone. All gone. Um, all gone. So, so you can't get sick. You can't get sick just in time to sleep in the street. Right. That's you know? exactly right. And, 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 and the subsidies don't just apply to young black males. No. You no. know, they apply to old, old people and yep. crippled people Pe and disabled, sick people right. and, and disabled people. And he um, also wants to, the Trump administration wants to decide what and who gets welfare. Snap. That is correct. That so, is correct. Guys, and you guys, the fact that you know this is coming, if you live, if you got, 200 tenants in a building. The government is saying, you know what? We're not, we're not going to fund this anymore. We're either going to get on board or you're going to get out. So what I tell you guys to do, form, why don't you form your own association in the building and then go to the bank and buy, and buy your building from NYCHA? There's a lot of things that you're going to have co to do. It. Um, I'm not um, one for co-ops, but, but that seems to be the easiest way for African Americans in New York to 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 own their property, own a share. Um, Look at Harlem. Harlem. There's a, there's uh, the first thing that African Americans are going to have to um, do is uh, rethink their positions in terms of how they view themselves and how they view the world. Everything that they do stems from those things. And just having money or property without regaining control of your mind uh, uh, is actually more of a liability than an asset. That's true, though. Um, You're absolutely um, right. Um, uh, we, have a, we have a problem with the way we think, with the way we see the world, with, with uh, the things that, the instructions that we have been given. Right. One, of the, one of the biggest drawbacks that African Americans seem to have is the fact that um, well, uh, uh, Donald Je uh, Dr. Jeffries always talks about um, critical thinking, right. that you have to uh, think critically. You have to be fluid in the way you think. Right. You just can't uh, accept a mandate right. from no matter how, who it was, right, right, right. you know. Just because I mean, they said, oh, this is the way it is. Right, right. You don't have to accept I mean, that. I love Malcolm. Malcolm was a surrogate father to me. Right. Uh, but when you look at, and Martin, Martin, right. Martin is a, is, is a, is a, a almost a godlike figure right. to a lot of people. Right. Right. But when you look at them, I would say they were both right. Right. But in some ways, they were both, both wrong. That's right. And in 2018, you should be able to look at what happened, uh, who was affected, right. what uh, uh, occurred uh, subsequent to them doing what they did, right. and then be able to adjust your strategy based on, on hindsight right. as opposed to just following right. their right. edict. Right. Uh, and that's, uh, that, that, that's how you get slaughtered. That's how you get slaughtered. You're lambs to slaughter. Right, right. You're, de you're dealing with a person who's very fluid, who only sees big picture, who's always adjusting his strategy right. based upon uh, focus groups. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, right, yeah. right. And That's you're right. still telling me Malcolm said this and Malcolm said that. But Malcolm, if Malcolm had lived, right. Malcolm was very fluid in right. his thinking. That's right. Malcolm's right. strategy changed as situations changed. And he was ahead of the game. He, he was always he ahead of the game. Foresight, he, 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 he predicted but what would happen and adjusted to it. That that's is why, correct. And that's that why I tell correct. people all that the time, is correct. That you is can't correct. beat the system. That is correct. You can work the system that is to the best of your ability, that but be fluid that and, is correct. And, and change. That is correct. You know? We're, we're, a, we're a group of people who like, what J. Edgar Hoover said this, black people are into the thing, the thing, the thing, whatever right. the thing is. You, 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 you figure out what the thing is and you can you, get them. You capitalize um, it, right, And right, you capitalize. Right, right. Uh, uh, that's, one, that's, that's one of our 
biggest disadvantages. Uh, we want to buy gold when everybody else is buying gold. Right. And <laughs> that's the worst time we, to, to, we uh, always, to buy into something when, when it's at record highs. You buy low. We always show up late to the party. We show up late to the party and no. we always get stuck with it. Um, you talked about uh, housing, right. uh, uh, the banking industry. The banking industry has, has been very, very, very uh, aggressively unkind right. to um, um, people Minorities. of color. Uh, right, right. Um, hence, um, hence that the, uh, the, the, mark, the, the real estate market crashed. Uh, that is correct. That you is know? correct. But even, even there were... <laughs> First of all, the, the government and the banking industry, and that's another reason why Donald Trump is is uh, is is uh, so problematic, and it requires that we uh, think far more critically, right. because he wants to control every aspect of the of the uh, financial uh, right. industry, right. and uh, he wants to use us as a cash cow. Right. Uh, right. uh, for his in, own personal gain. For his own personal gain. Right. Um, which, which is uh, something that America has always done. After, uh, uh, after America, uh, uh, after, after the Emancipation Proclamation, right. um, America did a lot of things. There was, America were, uh, the, the children, slaves and the children of slaves were, um, right after the Emancipation Proclamation, Abe Lincoln mm -hmm. uh, uh, assigned them reparations. Right, which they never got. Well, for a hot minute, just as long as it took to put a bullet through Abe Lincoln's butt well, and get Johnson in there, and Johnson cut all of that stuff out. Well, well, well what black people did was the money that they did receive, they put it into white banks and didn't get anything out of it. Um... um well, the first thing they did, the first thing they did, and let this be a lesson to you Negroes. The first thing they did um, was uh, come up with a, with, a, with a bank that was supposed to be a, a black bank. Right. But the black bank was controlled by white people. Was controlled by white people. Right, right, right. And the white people that controlled the black bank, the bank that had all the uh, black people's money in it, right. controlled by white people, white people would not give them loans and right. redline. So they would be in redline with their own money. Right. Uh, that <laughs> bank um, subsequently invested all of their money, lost half the money, right, right. and so uh, uh, I had a friend that used to say, uh, you used to get your oppression free, but now you got to pay for it. Well, they used to get right. their oppression free. But, <laughs> right. but you know, the, those uh, very things that were happening in the 1800s are still happening today. They are still happening today because the same banking system, the same system that, that referred to... Uh, uh, Wells Fargo, right? Uh, the biggest. Subprime, subprime. Yeah, subprime loans, right. countrywide, right? And see, but but I also have to blame the black people. Have to take some blame for that, because in a subprime market, when a loan officer came to you and said you can buy this million dollar house and you make thirty thousand dollars a year, and your mortgage is only eleven $1 hundred dollars this month, and you got a variable, you should know what a variable is that this month is eleven $1 hundred. Next month is going to be six thousand. Who's? Where do we get that? We have to have some responsibility of that. Just because oh, some white man comes and go. Oh my good. Oh my God. You can buy this million dollar house, but I only make thirty thousand dollars. Common sense, my friend. You can't live in a thirty thousand dollar house making a million dollars. A million dollars making thirty thousand dollars. This well, is common sense, man. Well, um, again, you can't you can't be this colonized and not be affected. Um, and and we are hardwired to believe the white man, especially if he has um, a good dental plan and a nice suit. Um, <laughs> well, that's uh, what the uh, Jews uh, did to, uh, in the black community. That's what everybody does to the black community. The Jews are not in the black community. The Jews, when the Jews come in the black community, they come as white people right. because black people are hardwired uh, 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 through their colonized mind to, like I said, 
uh, believe not just that his ice is colder, but the fact that he is the one in power. He is the uh, good one. I, it's the doll test. Right, Who, right. Which doll is the thieving, right, right, low-life right, right, doll? Right, right. They the, 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 the black one. doll. Right, the black right, right. doll. Which is the good is, one? Where do we... The one that raped mama. Right, right. <laughs> where do we have, have a sense of our own responsibility, Nat? We know what, just because a white man says it, where is it that we're going to wait, 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 wait? We are going to have to, first, um, um, we have, we have literally, we have literally washed out uh, all of the, the, the mind changes of the 60s, and now we are literally back, back. to square one. Right. We exactly. are back to. I right. mean, we right. are as dumb as we have dumber. ever been. We have dumb. We are dumber. dumber. We dumber. are. We are dumber than right. we've ever been right. in 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 uh, the last we, 400 years. And I think the the reason that we were dumb back then because we didn't have access. But at least we knew our. We knew where we stood with this guy. We don't know where we stand with this guy. Uh, but but they but, say but, in the Bible, beware of uh, white right, men right, right, bearing, right, right, bearing, bearing gifts. gifts. <laughs> 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 but yeah. uh, but, but, but uh, see, uh, this is the thing, though. This should, this should make us step the game up. Because in, the, in the, any, any presidency, whether it was Obama, whether it was Bush, the black community wasn't really affected. The black community is always, always affected, but the black community doesn't know it's being affected because the black community is being controlled by, by you gotta things that they cannot see. Right, uh, right. Uh, All you refer, they don't, they don't, they don't want to learn. But you refer to subprime loans. Right. But they didn't stop subprime loans. They almost, they almost bankrupt the entire planet. Right, um, on subprime loans. Uh, uh, the information came out that Wells Fargo... <laughs> Was re referred to some, but but they refer to these loans as ghetto loans, ghetto loans right. for mud people. Right. I mean, right. Uh, That's right. Uh, this was in their emails. This right. came right. out. Right. You can't be. I mean, it's like it's like porno sex. You can't be more in somebody's face than writing ghetto loans for mud but, okay, people. But, 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 this but, is but, but, this but, this but, is what we do to black people. But, but, this is basically but, 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 what where, they said. Where do we say stop, Nat? We first of all, we have. First of all, we have to accept reality is reality. Okay, yeah, it happens. This guy is screwing it. But, right. but, but, but you can accept that. You understand that it happened. You understand what they're saying. Right. However, you're not the ones who. You're not one of the person who's still getting these loans. The only thing they did with the loan, they said, "My bad." The government uh, bailed out the major financial right. institutions right. Uh, the, uh, to the tune of gone. trillions. Right. 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 Trillions, right. but they didn't. They didn't stop subprime loans. They still got subprime they loans today. They changed the name right. of it from subprime to non-prime, right. right. and they're still giving the same loans right. to the same mud people today. Today, right. Right. today. at a lower interest rate. To, at a right, at right, a lower interest right. Rate. So nothing has changed. Just like nothing changed uh, 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 subsequent to to the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, uh, Jim Crow laws were put in a, uh, place until. Until we understand what it is that we're dealing with and start getting down to the business at hand of educating our children, stop trying to like, like uh, uh, think that you can simply elect somebody and, he'll take and, care of you. and he's going to kiss the boo-boo and make it all right, better. Right, right. We are never, ever, ever going to advance as a people. We were starting to do this. Right, right. But, but um, and, and this, is, this has been the case since, since before World War I but, but, with, with Marcus Garvey. Right. Um, it seems to be one of two things happens, and, and, and the power structure seems to know this uh, in terms of colonized minds, right. especially black colonized minds right. who, are, who are used to slavery. Right, right. Um, um, ergo, 2.5 million black people who, is, who are under the slave system right. of incarceration. Um, uh, we win one, we think we've won one, we right. quit. Right, right. We think we lost one. Right. We quit. We quit. Right. We, what, but, but that's not that's not how we were in the sixties. It was never how we were. That's it was how never we how we were. But it's never how we were. Something this is changed. a new phenomenon. Something's changed. What's changed? What's changed? It's not the system. That's a the, good point. Because that's here's a, the thing: I, the system I, hasn't I changed. I could lie and say the I system, think I know, but I don't. The system hasn't changed. The system, 
reinvents itself the same way. Yeah. So it's, something's changed in the black community or the minority community. The system hasn't changed. So I'm trying to find out what's changed. The efficacy of media. Yeah. The, it was the efficacy of media that uh, fueled the civil rights movement. Right. Um, um, these That's images fueled the civil rights movement. Uh, media has become so sophisticated, so all-encompassing, so mind-controlling. Uh, and we only have literally uh, one type of media it's corporate. anymore. Corporate media. Corporate media. Um, we used to have black media. We right. used to have black radio stations where, um, uh, and we had we had black radio stations. We had we had Latin radio stations. Yep. We had ethnic radio stations, um, cultural radio stations that different cultures, different ethnicities right. could could uh, uh, ha make a living at producing and staying in touch with the needs and concerns of their own community. We don't have that anymore. Well, there is no WWRL. No, there right. is no WBLS. There's no, there's, there's no BET. Right. There's no, there's no, right. There's, there's no, no BET. BET. There is no more black media. Yeah. There is no more black radio. There but, is no but, more black television. But now, Instead, there is um, corporate control media and the internet. So it is all encompassing. It is everywhere. It is on your telephone and it is all coming from uh, that person, that entity that makes its, makes its money, uh, its tremendous sums of money by locking but, but do, you, do, do in, you into uh, into this caste system, this but white do, supremacist but, caste but system. But do you feel that there's any responsibility for the forefathers like Bob Johnson, who sold out to corporate, uh, Kathy Hughes, who owned 72 radio stations. She started in a shack in D.C. and a trailer in D.C., W.O.L., with her husband. Is it their responsibility not to sell out? <sighs> Um, again, again, I just asked Bob again, Johnson, again. how many boats do you need to ski behind? You, when you get black entertainment television, you, you get it in your cable, it's part see, of a cable package. See, um, um, it is our responsibility, it is our responsibility to educate our children, to find ways of operating within this system, of fighting this system, uh, 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 no matter no matter what it takes, no matter whether we win or lose, we stay in the hunt. Right. And educating our children to the uh, to the place where one person, one entity, one black person, one black entity, uh, no matter how much money they make, Often, no matter right. how much how much influence they wield, right. that in and of itself should not be the determining factor right. in whether or not we succeed or fail. And and, that, and unfortunately, I have to say this, the only way that's going to happen, because we've lost generations and generations of parents not parenting. Well, that's the thing. That, but then you know what it, the then we need law. to go back to? That's the biggest law. We need that's to go back to, law. since that's not going to happen, because, right. you know, it doesn't matter whether you are one parent household. Right. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Right. And it matters with what you teach your kids. Right. So we've lost that. So the only way we're going to be able to overcome that is go back to the village. Right. Raises right, right, the child right, or right. the children. And you got to, you got to, you got to, you can't be, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's one thing, uh, them uh, calling each other all these terrible names. Um, uh, but now some, some of the, the people in, in, in hip hop are now 40 and 50 years old. <laughs> They're not like, 16 or 20 right. their parents and grandparents right. and there is a deleterious uh, uh, effect uh, uh, in always calling each other these horrible right. names right. that that make you think less of yourself indoctrinating into into this I can accept this kind of this kind of 
uh, mad cow, diseased <laughs> brain, you know, from young people. Because when you're young, you, you know, you're kind of stupid. I was but, young and dumb. But, we never, but we, never, um, we never operated to, like that when we were young. This no, is there were certain things that, but, but again, we no longer have our own thing. We are just part and parcel to his thing. So there were certain things that we never did around him. I'm not saying the N-word didn't right, exist, right, right, right. but you wouldn't know. White folks call you wouldn't give him, uh, 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 what's his name, the, 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 the tea man that, that do the uh, TV thing, the ice man, I, the ice tea man. Ice tea. Uh, uh, Kanye see. West and Jay-Z had this concert, and it was in France. Uh, 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 it was called Niggas in Paris. Um, no, it and, wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was. No. It was. And Gwyneth no. Paltrow was no. there with them. No. And Gwyneth Paltrow tweeted, I'm with my niggas in Paris. And, and, That's and, acceptable. That's unacceptable on every level. Well, a couple of things happened. The black community had a fit. Um... But the rap community, including people who are supposed to know better, like Nas, right. uh, uh, defended, Ice right, Ice, Ice T got on TV and actually chatted black people for having the temerity to be offended by their beloved white woman <laughs> calling us niggas because they had given her permission. Uh, 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 that is the most asinine thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, there, I must have missed this. Uh, uh, I must have uh, uh, missed this. Years gone by, there was this this Crouch man that used to ride ride for the write for the um, uh, Daily News, Andre Crouch. Right. And Andre Crouch, Oprah right. had this show when she, back when she was on ABC on Channel Seven on Network right. TV. And Jay Z and Stanley Crouch and Jay Z and Jay Z just literally. Uh, uh, cut Stanley Crouch to, to ribbons, and Stanley Crouch is a complete idiot. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's, I mean, uh, just like Trump got us rooting for the FBI. Right, right. You know, How idiotic I found is that? Myself, you know, <laughs> that, that is real idiotic. It's like, it's like uh, uh, we're almost out of town. Right, 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 um, right. Uh, but Jay Z defended defended his use of of the word nigga uh, uh, because he said he had he had. Made it kinder and gentler. Get the, yeah, you know, stop literally, that this is what stop, he's saying. Stop. That's, that's, that's there, ridiculous. There's a power in words. You know what? And, you know what? You know and what? By that, just, using that, just, it, that makes my head know, numb. That makes my head he numb. He takes away the. You know what? That's you know. some garbage. That is, you know, and I know that's garbage. Guys, you know what? Nah, thank you, bro. Thank hey, you for brother. letting me have being hey, on your show, brother. Guys, you know what? We we coming to you. We we bring it to you every week live, uncut. You guys can get a hold of us on social media. You know how to get a hold of if you want to talk about something. Um, good, bad, and different. Man. I'm for Nat Wood, 30, uh, for Greg Lasseter, 30 frames a second. Remember this, reach for the moon. If you miss, you're still among the stars. And Nat, you get the last word. It's your show. And uh, 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 we, in, we encourage people who, especially those people who have differing opinions, to um, state those uh, uh, positions uh, because ultimately what we're trying to do is not just have a conversation and a dialogue. We're trying to affect some sort of change because we have to move from point A to point B. And the only way we can do this is to see, a, recognize a problem uh, and uh, try to figure out what the solutions are and move toward that. Uh, we're out of time now. I just want to say, like Greg said, thank you for tuning in. And uh... <laughs> we'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. Um, again, guys, get a hold of us on our social media. Uh, Nat Wood is on, on, under um, Facebook. Nat Wood. Yeah, under Nat Wood yeah, on Facebook. No. And you know how guys, yeah. you guys know how to get I'm it. under you know Kanye I mean? West. So, you know, <laughs> if you're going to cuss me out, just say it. I'll answer. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Peace. We out here. <laughs> <laughs>